Oh, it hurts really bad. I drive a lot, so I try to like remind myself to stay upright, Good. but it, it hurts. The pinchy feeling is that present every day? Two to four times a week. How often do you see a chiropractor now? You know, like twice a week. That's a lot. How long have you been going twice a week for? Um, like the past couple of months. Okay. Yeah, I try to stretch every day, sometimes twice a day. You know, every once in a while I'll get those days where I don't do much, but then I hurt, so I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do this. Have you ever tried PT? Professional physical therapy? No. Okay, do you ever have to take any medicine for the upper back? Now, no. When I was growing, I had really bad growing pains. Okay. So I took a lot of medicine then because it was really painful, but... It's been there for a while. It's pretty frequent. And how bad does it get? Tends the worst pain ever. Maybe a five or six. I don't think I've ever gotten it, like, not since I've stopped growing. It hasn't been, like... That was like max, yeah. that was a 10 then. Any other major accidents, injuries? So I know like when I was little, I had like a cyst in my neck that they had to like drain because it was really big. But Do you know how you were born? Natural, but it was the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. So they like had to immediately like pull me out and whisk me away. So did your chiropractor take x-rays of you? Yes. You know the way your neck is supposed to curve? Mine curves backwards. Mine's literally at the perfect C shape opposite direction. And then my spine, the lower area was very obviously like major okay. scoliosis curve. Most likely, this is what the literature, the scientific literature suggests that <clears throat> the curvature in your lower spine and the pain in your upper back are all going to be a result of that loss of your cervical lordosis. So that is the primary thing to work on, which is better to work on at home every day. So I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, in the meantime, I'll adjust everything else in your spine that needs to be adjusted and then figure out what's the best way for you to like continue to grow in alignment. That way you don't have to go to the chiropractor twice a week. That's too much. And looking at the feet, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. There's just a little bit of eversion, but it's bilateral and symmetrical, which suggests that it's normal. Looking at the feet coming back this way, much more straight away. I don't see any pronation, supination, and I don't suspect any loss of arches, but we'll have to get under there to see. All right, looking at the hip height, we most likely have a higher left hip by this, by this angle. We'll have to check that, good. And then a high left shoulder as well. Let's see it on the way back. Okay, good, yeah, I see high left hip, high left shoulder, high left mastoid process on the ear. Okay, so just a little bit of lean in that way, which yeah. means we would expect to see a, a curvature. If you do have one, you have your feet up, okay? Okay. All right, arches are definitely intact. Go ahead and turn around the other way. Good, looking at the Achilles tendon, there are, there's no bowing, no pronation, no supination there, that's good. Just observing the spine first. You can see the left hip starts to come up a little bit. And if, I'm gonna put my fingers on top of your hips, okay? Okay. We're gonna be able to see that discrepancy. It's very apparent. You can see the tilting of the sacrum and the entire pelvis is going this way. The curvature follows suit in the thoracolumbar spine. It's curved, there's an apex convexity on the right, most likely around T9. If this is T7 here, eight, nine. So here's our apex and there's also a rotation because the Musculature is more prominent on the right versus the left. I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine, okay? Okay. This is called tone. Tone is like the amalgamation of all the layers. Bone, marrow, blood, nerve, muscle, ligament, fascia, skin. Every layer has an electromagnetic pulse. It's like your biorhythm. Can we do a temperature evaluation? The back of the hands. Good, very symmetrical, cool. No excessive dampness or dryness on the skin. It really becomes much more prominent in the upper thoracic once we get to the level of about T4, 3, 4. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, landmark.
marks are just slightly skewed. Okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the spine. are the most tense. It's a good amount of hypertonicity in the paraspinal muscles here. Okay, I'm going to palpate the SI joints. Open. Close. Open. Close. And the right side is moving nicely. It's the left side, which just lags a little bit. So we'll check the left SI. All right, so you're gonna feel my fingertips on your hamstrings, okay? Okay. Let your arms relax. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna slide up to the bottom of the glute fold. These look pretty even. We're slightly lower on the right side. That would match the, the, the pelvis here. We did have that tilt to the right side. Okay, feet are even, then looking from the top. Good, we're accentuated on the right. So, that, so the right one, is like lower and out. And so that means that the, the pelvis is rotated back and out like that. I'm gonna palpate the top of the, ham, the glutes here. Okay. It is hypertonic on this right side. This right glute is hypertonic. Yeah, I kind of feel a little, a little something. A little bit more over there, right? All right, first we're gonna check the movement of the sacrum versus the ilium. So one hand in the middle of the sacrum, one here at the S2 tubercle. Okay, go ahead and bend forward. Come back up. Okay, nah, so there's, there's, there is movement there. Let's check the right side. Okay, go ahead, right side. Coming back. Yeah, I, I can see the compensation. I saw the compensation there in the curvature as you were leaning forward. Okay, one more time, bend forward. All right, let your head relax. Okay, nice, smooth, long curve in the thoracic spine from the thoracic lumbar transition all the way up. There's not a lot of rib humping, which means the rotation is minimal. It's a nice, long, functional curve. You know, it strains out nicely when you stand up. So that means you can work with this. You can live to 110 with this spine. See that left masseloid process comes up just a little bit more. Very steady. All right, not bad. You're, you're flexible, but not overly flexible. I'm gonna look at the back of your head for a birthmark that indicates genetic anomalies, and so now you don't have it. All right, so good. No, no, I don't expect a hypermobility issue with you. That's, that's fantastic. So whatever cracking you're doing is most likely healthy and safe. Yeah, and as long as you're doing it consciously, drinking lots of water, stretching, yeah. All right, so I'm going to follow the sacrum down here to the coccyx, right? Do we have any tenderness here? Yeah. How about here? Yeah, I'd say about equal. To here? Mm, not as much. Not as much, no. Okay, left side, any here? Yeah, I can, I can feel it. Here? Yeah. We identify the ligament, put a little bit of pressure there. We identify which direction there's resistance for you. It's up and in like that. Then there's corresponding segments in the occiput. So we just find the segment in the occiput that has the similar type of tension. Yours is right there. Is that a little tension, a little tense? Yeah. And then we just hold these points. It doesn't take very long. A little spasm there. Okay, now we'll recheck. Mm. Is it still tender or is it the same, better or worse? I'd say probably better. I don't notice that like mm, typical muscle kind of pain. Okay, very good. That's tender. This one's still tender, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this, this fiber is different. Sometimes we have to work this one out through a trap fiber. Sometimes this just means that your occiput or atlas need to be adjusted. So we'll come back to that. Okay. Yep, magnesium is very absorbable through the skin.
Nice gentle breathing.
Just give it a try, deep breath. And out. Good, sinking in with the back, sink, very nice. Okay, nice and gentle, take a deep breath in. And out. The shoulders relax, head and neck, and sh good, just like that. Then. All right, let's do this. We're going to check the contraction of the lumbar muscles. So, we're going to lift your right leg up in the air. Like that? Exactly. Down. Okay, left. Go down. Can do the right again. Okay, down. About even in height. Okay, which one was? Was either one more difficult for you? Mm. Try it again, do the right. Down. Left. Down. Oh, uh, maybe the left? Alright, so when you lift the left leg up, the right lumbar paraspinal musculature contracted perfectly. So it means we have no issue on the right. So most likely right SI joint adjustment. And then when the right leg came up, the left paraspinal should contract, but it did not. Okay, let's check the lumbar spine. Okay, right or left, which is more tender here. Mine are super tender. About the same? Okay, how about here, right or left? Oh, uh, yeah, I can feel it on both, but I noticed it on the left first. So let's un untwist you just a little bit. We don't need so much twisting here. Okay. Got one nice and straight up and down that way. Okay, deep breath in. And out. Mm. Bring it back. Whew. This one's like this forward, so I'm gonna pull it back this way, and it's also external, so I'm gonna push it back that way with my hip right here, okay? Okay. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Go take a deep breath in. Good. Good, shoulders sinking in. Very nice. Mm. And you're back. All right, let's try this again. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. That's a right atlas. Okay, now bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Tricky. Back to center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center. Check occiput. Nice job of breathing.
All right, nice and gentle breathing. We're gonna start on the right side first, okay? Nice and gentle. I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like two and there. Okay, then very gently. We're gonna follow your breath just like the other adjustments. You're letting go, shoulders and hips sinking. Okay, right from there, we'll follow the next breath. Grab the head, shoulders. Yeah, that, that one had some tension in it. A little bit. I like felt that one like all the way down. Nice and gentle. We're gonna follow the shoulders and follow the breath. Got a little push here. Gentle, 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 gentle. <clears throat> Ow. Oh. All right, ready? Hold your knees together now. Hold them together. Don't let me pull it apart. Hold it. Hold. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't expect, like, I was like right in here somewhere popped or. All right, so this is a digestive organ manipulation, okay? Okay. It starts with the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. We locate it by first finding the belly button. Yours is here. Okay. ASIS, the front of your hip bone. Okay, you can do this too. All right, so we connect these two points in the middle is where we start looking for the ileocecal mm. valve. Tender. A Should be tender. Nice, gentle. Do your belly breathe? Can your belly breathe? Of course you do. Okay, that's pretty clear. Okay, now we're gonna come up to the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. The diaphragm. So keep breathing into your belly. Okay, we're just gonna follow the diaphragm along with this same tension. that's where it hurts when I normally get adjusted and people push on my back. It's like right in there. I think it's your ribs. Let's see. Can <laughs> I see your tongue? All right, put it away. This is like a fascial, musculoskeletal fascial mm -hmm. tension. It's not coming from your digestive system. Okay. All right, so um, do you know what's about to happen? Did you watch any of these adjustments? Not really. All you have to do is keep your teeth together as you breathe out. We'll follow your breath like this. Uh, and at the end of your breath, we're going to go in that direction, okay? Okay. Just like the other adjustments, you'll only feel it for a little bit, and then it'll feel better afterwards, okay? Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Good. Mm. Good. Mm. Oh, God. Breathe. Keep breathing. Okay. <sighs> Breathe through your nose. It's kind of a lot. It's okay. Mm -hmm. There's so many feelings that my body doesn't even know what to focus on. That's good. That's good awareness. Yep. Just keep breathing. Good. Like I've shit here and down here mm -hmm. and like normally I'm only feeling stuff in like a one, place, yeah. one spot and it's like My brain doesn't know where to focus. Focus on the breath. I feel like every little like, what, what are they called? Your little pieces of your spine? Vertebrae. Vertebrae. I feel like they all like, this is weird. In my brain, I feel like I just saw them all kind of like separate. <sighs> or at least that's how it felt. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm okay. I think my oh, yeah, I think good. my body was just very like In shock. overstimulated. Okay, good. Yeah. It wasn't like painful, but it was like shock. 
Shocking it's scale. going away now. Good. <laughs> All right, swing your legs off. Walk I feel like legs. shaky almost. I feel, I feel weird. It's like loose, like a weird loose. I don't know. I guess it's not a bad thing. I just don't think I'm ever this loose. <laughs> I need to give this area a little while. Just a minute. But like it disappears. This though. Yeah. Like it's. I feel like I have space. In oh, that wasn't bad. Oh. Hmm. Push. 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 Mm. Can you hear that? Hear what? Okay, maybe I just hear it because it's inside of me. What is it? Um, uh, kind of like an in here. You know how like when the joints kind of will like wiggle, they'll have like a little sound. Like, I think it's because my jaw is kind of funky. Open. Cross. Come in your back. It's always hurt, and then if I open, it gets stuck, and then that's. Hey, open. Okay, close. Right there. Breathe. You need to do this at home. Oh god. If your jaw doesn't feel good. You just follow the line of your teeth back. Uh-huh. The first thing that you hit. Well, it's okay. This this is the worst I've ever felt. It's yeah, it's very sensitive. Was it? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Kurt. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, look, it's getting better. Hold on. Mm. See how my fingers going a little bit further in? Mm hmm It's because the muscles are releasing. Oh, fuck. Okay, you're doing good. Just keep breathing. Mm. Breathe. Good. In through your nose. Go. Out. Mm. In. Mm.
Hold. Oh. At the back sink. Very nice.